Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Abels from Kinetic Health. I'm just going to go over neck or cervical range of motion and what you look for when you have restrictions or imbalances. Okay, we're going to go through some primary motions here. So this is referred to as flexion. And if we think of going into a position of flexion, normal would be oh, somewhere around 80, 90 degrees, something like that. And Leanne here has pretty good range of motion. If we're going back into extension, bringing the head back, this would be about 70 degrees as we come back here. We want to make sure we have at least that. Now, of course, if you're bringing your head back and you feel a lot of tension right across the chest, this is not a good thing if you feel some kind of restriction. If you're bringing your head down into flexion and you feel like things are really tightening up in the back and they're very restricted, or even farther down the back, that's not a good thing. You should be able to move through these motions quite easy. The next range of motion we'll go through is considered to be rotation. Now, rotation is kind of a funny thing because a lot of patients come into the clinic and they'll say, oh yeah, I don't have any kind of restriction whatsoever. But what they'll do is when they turn their head, they try and rotate over, they'll actually take their shoulders and turn like this, okay? And they go, oh yeah, I'm fine. Or they'll take their upper body and they go, oh yeah, I'm good. Well, look at me, I can, I can, I can rotate really well. But that's not what you want to do. You want to make sure that you actually have your shoulders in a stable position and then turn your head into rotation. Now, this should be approximately, oh, somewhere around 80 to 90 degrees in that vicinity. And taking the other side, 80 to 90 degrees, keeping your shoulders in that solid neutral position. So, let's say you do have reasonably good range of motion between 80 and 90, but you notice there's quite a difference between left and right side. We're looking for symmetry here. It's not just a matter of range of motion, but we want to make sure that we're equal on both sides. The next range of motion we'll look at is lateral flexion of the cervical spine of the neck. So we take it to the side, right over. Now, you want to make sure you're not doing this where you're raising up your shoulders as you're coming over. You want to keep both shoulders down. So we start in a neutral position and then we go to the side. Now this is kind of an interesting one because the amount of range of motion will vary between people. Somewhere between 20 and 45 degrees. So if we're looking at active range of motion, we're trying to figure out whether or not there's an imbalance or restriction in the area, this is how we assess it. And you just write down wherever you feel some type of restriction in that area. This is a very important thing because a lot of people actually have restrictions but they don't realize it. And when you think of something like rotation, I mean, this is a big issue if you're driving along in a car and you're trying to shoulder check. Or people that are working on a computer all the time and they have their head tilted forward in a particular position. They could be creating a lot of stress down in their back but they're not realizing it. Okay, so that was just kind of a quick overview in terms of cervical range of